Um, I might be playing a new game uh, in the next couple weeks, too. Somebody uh, actually contacted me while I was playing Oxygen Not Included. Somebody who's developing a game that's kind of like RimWorld or Oxygen Not Included called Rekindling. And they sent me a key for the game and wanted me to let them know when I was playing it. So uh, it's like a, it's a zombie survival version of, like, it, it very much reminds me of RimWorld when I watched the uh, video of it. But apparently, instead of fighting frontier people on an alien planet i think you're on earth and maybe people can turn into zombies or something but it looked pretty interesting definitely an indie type uh style of game which is down my alley for sure so i might be checking that out in the next couple of weeks uh but i really want to explore the solar system i know I, I i don't know how much exploration is a part of the game oh what why do i have to respawn is it because I restarted the server? I, I camped out inside of my thing. Eh. Hope I didn't lose too many resources that were on me. Because uh, I thought I probably had a bunch of crap on, on me. Well, I guess that's what I get for doing a restart. There are some amazing mods for RimWorld. RimWorld of Magic and the Gugubu mods in particular. Yeah, I know there's some mods, mods for RimWorld. I think I even played with a couple of them. RimWorld to me is just... It's it gets too micromanagey. I don't know if that makes sense for a game that that's basically what it's all about. But I enjoy RimWorld, but I don't enjoy it for a long time because I get to the point where I'm like, I don't want to have to tell every single person exactly what they do all the time, which I know is not how you have to play it. But I feel like if I don't, I lose people too much. So I was in my cryo. I was. So I don't know why. Damn, I'm gonna have to rebuild my good tools again. Uh, that's annoying. Okay. Uh, I was in my cryo when I restart, so I just I don't know why it sometimes does this. All right, so I need my level three of all my tools. So I need you, I need you, and I need you. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Well, that's building. What is gold? A U. Gold. Uh, okay, so I didn't get any gold, so I definitely need to get some gold. Um, I have a feeling... Did it reset all the stuff that my... I was telling it to make a bunch of... These guys, semiconductors. Yes, okay, good. Those are still queued up. At least I didn't use, lose the queue for what my stuff was trying to do. So that's good. So we're going to do this. Uh, I can shift click these guys, and if I shift click you guys, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna go to disassemble. One, two, three, and go back to assembling so I don't screw that up again. Okay. See, so have I've ice? Okay, I should have lots of ice. Uh, maybe I'm out of ice. If no ice, no air. Oh, did I actually die? <laughs> okay, so I need gold. I need ice. I probably could use some uranium, too. Uh, uranium. I have some uranium. So I think we, we need to start off the day with a little bit of mining here. Because we're getting really close to this thing being done. And it's looking really great. I just got kind of this back quarter third of the ship to finish. So uh, let's, do a, let's do a quick... Ice, gold, and uranium run here. So, um, which is good because I, I need to have that for sure when we, uh, when we, uh, fly off in our giant ship. We're going to need to have ice. Okay. You made a cargo unit in my ship a donation. Um, what? A cargo unit in my ship. What are you talking about? I don't. I don't... What are you talking about? Had some gold stuff. Um, yeah, you're gonna... I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, EPB. Here? Where is here? Jesus. I don't know what you're trying to tell me right now. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, okay. So there's some stuff in here, I guess. Uh, oh, okay. So you put a bunch of resources in here. 
uh, I guess is what this is. A set warp five engage, right click to read. Oh, and you gave me some semiconductor or superconductors. Okay. I'm going to break this down because I don't want this on my ship. Oh, crap. Okay, let me put the semiconductors in here or superconductors. Okay, and I'll read your thing in a second here. Okay. Um, so, what did you right click to read? Saw so your work on your ship and I was saying complete jump drive. Thought you donate the remaining superconductors. Nice. I still am going to go at resources though. I appreciate the donation. EPB, that will help me out here. Um, I will have extra superconductors because we already have a bunch queued up. But for now, I'm going to go mining. Hey, what's up, KC8D? All right, so I need ice, I need gold, and I want to get some uranium. So those are, I want to make a, if no ice, no air. Yeah, that's that's probably what happened. I probably actually died because I ran out of ice. Um, GPS, let's do ice first. Let's see, Roid ice. Show on HUD. Where are end uh, Is there Roid gold anywhere? Roid gold. And then the other one was uranium. Yeah, yeah, so we have those. All right, so ice, gold, and uranium. Let's see here. There's platinum. Yeah, I got I got them. EPB, I got them. Uh, I just need to figure out which ones they are. Uh, let's see here. Roid gold over that way. So let's go get the gold. Original one's almost gone. All right. Well, we might have to find some... I think somebody said they were going to scout at asteroids for more resources at some point. So we might need to do that soon. Hopefully not today. But, you know, one thing that I might be doing as we explore the... Um, uh, explore this solar system is maybe find new sources of stuff like that. I w it'd be nice if there was an even bigger... You gave coordinates to a new one. Oh, oh, so the ones you gave is a new one. Okay. Um, GPS. So, Roid Gold. Is this the new one that you just did? Uh, where's the new one you did? Roid Gold 2. Okay. I'll show that one on the HUD. Roid Gold 2. Uh, is that showing up here? Okay. Cool. So we'll check out how much is left in here. Wow, yeah, you can definitely see this has been mined out for sure. <laughs> but there's a little bit in there. So I'll get I'll get this little bit that's here. Okay. Turn this on and I need to unlock my advanced rotor. Thank you for the new the new thing. We'll mine this out and then maybe we'll get rid of this um, this waypoint here. Sideline Angel, when the GPS is in there, if you just go into your GPS when somebody posts it, it should show up on there. It should show up in your GPS and you just need to like save it or sh have it show. Okay. There we go. So that's all that gold little bit in here. I think we have depleted this vein, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's a little bit more over here. And actually, I'm showing some 140 meters from here, so there might actually be a little bit more in this asteroid. Might not be completely gone. Got that. All right, do I see any more gold in here? Up, oh, little bits down here. If I'm going to mine this out, I want to mine it out completely. So that if I remove the waypoint, it's because it, there is literally none left. stone from this, but that's that's fine. And 
I got that song stuck in my head from the uh, from my intro video. It's a group. It's a Dallas-based group called Burning Hotels. I think. It's a really cool song. That's why I love the radio station I listen to. They play a lot of local stuff, but a lot of it's really good. Well, at least I like it. Uh, can't sing it. I don't actually know the song well enough. Okay, so it looks like that deposit. Oh, little bits of gold. Time for a guessing game. Since I'll be testing my own ship too. Out of four weapons, how many will work straight away? If you design them, I'll say three out of four. Three out of four work. That's my guess. Okay, have we depleted you? I'm seeing no more gold here, so. It says there's some over here. Um, is there actually any? Uh, maybe it's inside here. EPP guesses two out of four. All right, I have more faith in Biohazard than EPP. <laughs> Right, let's see if there actually is any in here. I assume this is my detector seeing this, so I feel like this should actually be stuff in here. Bio does some wacky stuff. True. True. Bio does do wacky stuff. Oh, something's smoking. Uh, maybe that's just it's working. Oh. Large steel tube. Okay, my spotlight got busted somehow do I have any do I have any large steel tubes in here no I have nothing all right so that lights broken all right I gotta remember to fix that light when I go back oh all right well there's some gold in here looks like we're coming out the other side of the asteroid so there might not be a ton you'll be happy with one out of four to be honest you always seem to forget something and this one is a complicated one I believe in you. I believe in you, Bio. I believe in you, Peter. All right. Well, if there's not that much here, we might we may mine out this gold here. Well, actually, there looks like there might be a decent amount here. I'm seeing more. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I can't. Ugh. I feel like I'm bumping into stuff here. I feel like I want to remake my miner, at least uh, pare it down a little bit. It's a little, it's a little unwieldy sometimes. So what I'll probably do is change um, the gold waypoint to this area. See how much have to check how much gold we've gotten so far. There's a good chunk of gold here, actually. I must be bumping into something in the back here. Got to get that gold. Got to get that gold. Even though we have enough semiconductors now, I want to have I want to have all the resources available on my ship when we go out exploring. So if I need to build something, I can build what I need to build. Build what I need to build. Okay, same. See if I get like about 100k gold or so. How much how much have I got so far? Uh 1.27k. Really? 15, so... Wow, okay. Gold is not like silver, where you can get quite as much, it seems like. I've only got almost 20k gold. I might not need as much, though. It's kind of crazy how, with the lighting, the gold kind of has a green sheen to it. It's pretty crazy. I guess that's because something's blue. Blue and yellow make green. Something like that.
Oh, EPB, is that your jetpack ship that you were talking about? Whoa. What's the purpose of that? Is that like... So you can fly around and not run out of oxygen or something? Oh, T-Cop wants to join my faction. Okay, I will accept you in a bit here. Not waste hydrogen. Ah, okay. Well, that's that's cool. Definitely an interesting ship design. Okay, EPB must have accepted them. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can fly out of here and turn around a bit. Only one error in Schlipstream itself, and it's an image in the wrong format. Could be worse. Not bad. So who is right? How many were how many how many weapons were right on the first try? Oh, it must have been sniping, okay. Well, I added another admin. Uh, KC8D, I made an admin. Because they were asking and they're on all the time. And I'm trusting trusting my admins not to abuse their powers. Uh, that hasn't really been an issue yet. I mean, I got a little a little snarky with Snivy at the stream, but that was just because of copy-pasting something I've been working on for six hours, so... So far, all admins have been have been super cool. All right, so what are we looking at here? Uh, 38K gold. That's probably good for now. My large cargo is completely full. Oh, I have even more gold. Okay. Um, wow, my large cargo container is completely full with st how much stone? 383,000. Uh, is there a way I can just dump this? Can I dump this stone. I don't want all this stone. Can I just do that? No. You got a uranium point 82 kilometers away. Um, there was some that was closer than that. I, that might have been mined out. Uh, let me see. I, I thought there was a way to... Okay, where is 300? If I just do this. Can I do this? And then drop. Yes. I'm going to do this a couple times. Drop giant chunks of stone. Ship has been disconnected. Okay. I'm creating my own asteroids full of stone here. Can I push this away? Hopefully that doesn't hurt my thing here. So far it's three out of three. Just got to test the arty. Nice. Okay, that do any damage here? Doesn't look like it. I have a broken gyro. Do I? Well, I know I have a broken spotlight, and I don't have any steel tubes to fix it. Um, yep, I do have a broken gyro. And I have no, no pieces to fix it right now. Do you happen to have any resources? Because I died, all the resources I had are gone. If you have the pieces to fix it, I wouldn't mind you fixing it. I just don't have any stuff on me. Um, okay, how much stone did I get rid of? Not that much. Getting rid of 6.24k one at a time here. Okay, and it's pushing me away there. Okay. Hopefully those will get cleared up. Those I think will will eventually get cleared up. Uh, I might need to just deliver this gold and stone so that I can get the other stuff. Let's go do that. Let's go deliver this stuff so I can uh, I can clear out room and also fix my ship. Okay, and. Rotor lock. Turn that off. Okay. So we'll take a quick detour back home. Which, where is my home? Where is my home? Over one of these safe zones. I'm smoking. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I got some pieces that need to be fixed. That's not the button I meant to press. V. So that's the game sticks area. So this is my area over here. God. 
Sounds like I'm, my entire ship has exploded or something. I think it'll actually be easier for me to dock inside my large ship than dock at my space station. Oh yeah, I'm not healing because I have no ice in this thing. Damn. Get, not getting any H2 back, so I definitely need some ice. Ice is the next thing I need to go get. So we got gold. Next I need to get ice. You can donate some. If you want to throw some ice in there, it's fine. I don't necessarily want you to give me all the things I'm missing because I I'd like to gather my own resources, but you can you can I wouldn't mind a little ice in there just so that you know I can refill my H2. The thing is I should have I had a ton of ice, so I wonder if it converted it all into H2 in my tanks over there for fuel. I'm hoping that my tanks are at least semi-full. I should probably turn on stockpile inside these H2 tanks because that's where I want the, the hydrogen. Yep, I'm definitely smoking. Come on, slow down. Alright, here we go. So you need to very, very slowly and carefully go in here and dock. We need to get practice with docking anyway, since we'll be going out with this ship. Exploring the galaxy soon, or the solar system at least. Okay, we go in. Kind of move to the side. Okay. I go forward a little bit. Oh. Check our camera. Okay. Go backwards here. And a successful docking. Beautiful. Okay. No fuel. It's probably saying that because I'm out of ice, actually. All right. So I need... Um, what do I need to fix my broken stuff here? I need large steel tubes, computers. I just need all of the things. I need all of a few of all the resources. You have a test ship that you can throw weapons on exactly for that reason. Oh, are you talking about for FTL? Okay, so let me throw this in there. Okay. Um, let's see here. So I have all these superconductors that I don't necessarily need. Where is... I need to find the large cargo container here. This one I can throw these superconductors in. And I need at least a few things here. So if I get like 10 large steel tubes, some motors, steel plates, uh, computers, and maybe a couple displays. I'm going to actually do 100 of those and 100 of those. Construction components. Really? I don't have more construction components in there? Construction components. Okay, here we go. I want these to be in the large thing here. Uh, let's see here. Actually, if I do this here, and then large cargo, I want them to be in here. Right, this should allow me to fix the smoking pieces of my ship. The smoking pieces. Normally you just use limited time offer to get RD, but I didn't add that mod in for the test. I don't know if I know that mod. Ah, freaking bulletproof glass. Okay. Glass. Like just 100 of that. Go to your personal info and click show gravity range. Okay. 
Info show gravity range. So this is showing. Oh, okay. So this big box is showing how much gravity is being generated by the gravity generator I have in here. So if I hit X, I fall. Okay. All right. Wow. That's a very big range. Should I make that smaller? Do you think? Can you adjust that? Is that an adjustable thing? Gravity generator. Ah, oh, here, field width, field height. Okay. Um, is there a way to just have it match the ship? I wonder. Um, so what if I made like half of what it is right now? I wonder what, if I once I disconnect it, it, I can just make it match the grid or something like that. Okay, that is better. So we actually want it less height and less width. Okay, well, we want it less of all, so, okay. Cool. I did not know that was a thing that you could adjust. Okay, so let's go another down to like 50 each. Actually, I know I, know I want the, it needs to be, oh, I don't even know if it needs to be wider or taller. I guess I'll just keep checking it. Oh, and, I, and it'll use less power when it's smaller too. That's kind of cool. All right. So width is pretty good. Trimming is worth it. Look at yours. Uh, I can't see yours. Okay. Um, all right. Let's just keep making it smaller. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm starting to see it come in there. So if I go like that, let's see if I can see it coming in here. Probably like, like that. And then depth. Let's see which way that's coming in. Okay. About like that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we get gravity right as we come onto the ship there. Oh, okay, that's now too small. All right. It's close, though. It's closer. So I need to go. I think my width is actually good. I think width. So I just need... Where's that depth? I don't know which which, which thing is which. Um, EPP, I know you like playing with me, could, but you could... Let me let me do what I'm doing before you keep bothering me to keep do, doing other stuff. Um, okay, so depth. Uh, let's see what that one is. Okay, that's pretty good for depth. Yes, I like that for depth. It goes extends a little bit above. Uh, actually, I think it, I think I need the depth to be a little bit bigger because I need to. I want it to go to the bottom of my hanger there. I want to have gravity on my hanger, I believe. So just a little bit. So it's going to extend a little bit higher than lower. So we'll go like, like that. So I think I need height to be larger. Is that right? Uh, I think actually height was good. It was the width we need. Okay, so depth is good. Okay, height needs to go back down, and it's width. So I got I got width and height apparently confused. There we go. Yeah, this one definitely needs to be long. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, almost there. Is my width good? Uh, no, depth is that. God damn it. Uh, I wish there. I wish you could visualize this without being in the stupid. This. There's a lot of stuff in this game where the UI. It's like, why can I not? Why can't the camera pull back to a useful place when doing this? So I don't have to do a stupid little. Like. This adjustment is dumb. It should be. It should be better than this. If you're gonna make it adjust this way, then give you the tools to adjust it in not a stupidly over complex way. Okay, that is almost perfect. Okay, so I need just a little bit further out the front. 
which is depth, I think. There's so many things about this UI that could be so much better. And I know yesterday people were saying, it's already way better than it used to be. Yeah, but it doesn't mean they couldn't make it better. Okay, let's see here. This goes right up to the edge. Okay, so that's good. So that's good. Let me check down here at the bottom. Uh, where's my gravity generator? There it is. So my door's here. So this is... Uh, it's like right at the level of the floor. Let's make the... What is this? Depth? I think that's depth. One more tick. Oh my god. You can look at it from the outside and remote connect to your grid. You have to remote connect to your grid. Okay, that's the way you do it, huh? Well, even if you do that, you have to be in this screen. So, like, adjusting these numbers in this screen is a bad way of doing this, in my opinion. You should be able to... I, I guess maybe there's a HUD. Maybe there's a HUD. Wait, did I just... I just made that lower. Did it not go down? Did I do the wrong one? Maybe you have to change your HUD transparency or something. I think somebody said something about that. I don't know how to do that. Change your HUD transparency. Okay, let me just make all these just a little bit bigger, and that should do it. Okay. How does that look like? There we go. It's going below the ship just a little bit. Okay. All right. There we go. That's a good gravity. Oh, now I can see yours, EPB. I don't know why I couldn't see it before, but okay, I see it. Mine's going to be a little bit bigger because I needed the placement would need to be changed. I don't want to change the placement. Okay. Um, so I fixed my ship. I delivered my gold, right? All right. Um, is the gold, did the gold all get delivered? Refinery, 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 okay, and stone. Uh, I know there was way more stone than that. Did it already go through them all, all the stone? Refinery. Okay, it's getting, it's refining the gold. I had hundreds of thousands of stone. Surely it didn't already refine all that. Let me, let me uh, disconnect here. And make sure that this thing is empty. Uh, there's a little bit of stone and nickel in here. The, okay, the reactor's got uranium. Okay. All right, we need ice. Let's go get some ice. Um, okay. Oh, I need to turn off my gravity thing. Okay. Go to settings, game. You can change the HUD opacity. Okay. All right, settings, options, game, HUD, opacity. Oh, there we go. That's, that's, that's much better. It's the UI opacity that I actually want to change. Uh, I don't like that, but that's okay. Okay, that's better for sure. Hey, what's up, Moonho? How are you doing, my friend? Okay, so I need ice. Roid silver. I think I turned roid ice on. Oh, is that it? Roid ice, there we go. All right, so roid ice and I got gold. I wanted uranium. I think you said there's some uranium. I might, you know what? I might be able to find more uranium out where we're going. And I think I already have some. I might just put all the uranium that I have into my main ship's reactor. Because I don't know that I want to uh, go looking for uranium super far away. And I'm not healing for some reason. Is that because I don't have ice? Or is my is something else broken on your ship? I wish there was a way to see what's broken on your ship. Maybe there is a way, and I just don't know. Okay. OK. 
Okay. Right, we will slow down at around two kilometers away here. How are you doing, Moon? Oh, hope you're having a great, great Thursday afternoon. First thing I want to do, actually, is I want to go explore the moon. I wonder if you can find stuff like uranium and stuff on the moon. I just want to go to some of the other bodies in this, terrestrial bodies in this system. Although, I guess I need to stay away from Mars if there's people PvPing. Which... What the hell? What the... Did I just die? What just happened? I just got teleported from my ship when I was in this screen. What the hell just happened? What the actual f fuck just happened? Where's my ship? No, why did I just... Why did I just... I still have all my shit. Why did I just teleport? That means I lost my ship. The hell? Why? Why did my ship just disappear? Wait, what? Oh, god damn. No, I didn't. Oh, I'm fine. I hate, oh, I hate the UI in this goddamn game. This, the UI is so terrible in this game. I think, oh, Jesus Christ. Apparently, if I hit F3, it changes my view to, God damn it. I have to change the buttons in this stupid game. All right. Oh my God, this is so dumb. Where are the, where are the controls? View. F3 is free spectator. Get that shit out of here. Just do something over here. God damn it. I swear the, the controls and the UI in this game are just so just so terrible, man. Ugh, they make me rage so hard. I think I'm dead. But no, I just happened to press a button that apparently... Moves my spectator to some random place in the galaxy. This is so weird. Okay, I'm completely turned around now. Where's the asteroid of ice? Okay, god damn it. I need to... I need to not show all these other things, please. I don't need silver showing. I don't need silicon showing. I don't need platinum or nickel showing. Don't need the gold. Okay. All right, where the hell's the ice? That's uranium. There it is. Uh, four out of four weapons function at first attempt. Nice. She need to make some small adjustments. I was closest with three out of four. F8 and F9 also do that F6 to reset. All the, are you talking about all the different? Yeah. I. Problem is I also use my F buttons to change stuff in my stream labs to change scenes. I change those control F buttons, but the stupid UI in this game, even when I hit control, registers F buttons. So it still changes views when yeah, it's just it's so frustrating. The UI in this is just I feel like it could be done so much better. All right. Uh, I think this is all ice, right? Is this all an ice asteroid? Yeah, this is all ice. OK. Sorry, I'm raging at stuff so much lately. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just so ragey lately. I, th I thought I like died and respawned. Which is not how the respawning works, but the UI in this game is so confusing that 
it just throws my camera somewhere because I hit a button that does multiple things, apparently. I don't understand why the F3 button is look at everybody else and to change your view. I don't know why, who, who thought that's a good way to set up the control scheme. I just don't understand the controls in this game. I think the biggest improvement that could be made to this game is a UI that's just makes more sense. Like the camera and the UI are, I think, are two of the biggest issues I have with this game. Camera and UI just do not work well. All right, well, we're not running out of ice anytime soon, so that's good. The only reason you, why it flung your camera is because you were admin and could use spectator cam. Well, why is that button the same? Why does one button do two things? And the rotate keys? Yeah, the rotate keys being differently would be, would be very nice. Or just be clearer to how they work. Like, I, I think I, I, it makes no sense to me that one button should be spectator mode and also who's on the server. I mean... Maybe admins who do a lot more admining, that's efficient to have one button do two things, but I feel like that's not a good thing. Okay, how much ice do I want to get is the question. I want a lot, but I also want to grab... Was there something else I wanted to grab while I was out? I said uranium, and actually I think I, I, think I did see some uranium that might be close enough that we could go grab if it's not completely mined out. I guess I am going to move forward a little quicker like EPB said you can do to mine faster. Was it F3 by default? I don't know. Maybe maybe I changed buttons. I don't... Every time I've tried to change buttons, it doesn't seem to do anything, so... Uh, that's not what I'm doing. So, 91k ice, 27k, 422k. Alright, I am basically full of ice then, so... Okay, if I even want to go get uranium, would I even have any space? Uh, my connectors have some space. Um, auction tank can't hold any. My drills have some space. So yeah, I could go get some uranium if there's some available. Oops, uh, control panel, advanced rotor, and... Let me uh, lock it. Don't go faster when actually mining or unless your rotator speed is high. Yeah, I kind of want to turn my rotator speed up a little bit, honestly. All right, where did I see that uranium? uranium? Is it the 12.42 kilometers this way? Yeah, let's go see if there's any left here. I think I've mined this once or twice, so hopefully uh, get some... I don't know why I'm not healing. Does that mean my survival kit is broken? Why am I not healing when I'm in here? Or do you not automatically heal? I thought you automatically healed. I don't have this. I guess I just need to go up to my survival kit and heal there. Um, well, I know that I can heal by going up to my survival kit and hitting F. I thought you automatically healed when you were in a cockpit attached to a survival kit. Auto healing only goes to 70%. Okay. I think my uh, H2O2 generator is actually running right now. So when I get back, I want to deliver this ice. I want to turn on my 
H2 tanks on my big ship to stockpile, because that's where I want... I want that to be filled up on fuel. And then we can uh, hopefully get our ship... Uh, ship construction done today. Look, I, looks like I see a chunk out of the asteroid up here, so that's probably where the uranium is. Alright, let's see here. see if my order detector is going to detect I think it was over on this side of the asteroid I believe if I remember remember correctly Okay, unlock that. I should probably put that button on my bar. That's probably something I could do. Um, did we mine this out already, I wonder? As I say we, possibly me. Somebody else found this, but I definitely mined a lot of it. My detector can't work. You still have the screw. Stop taking my screws. Okay, there's silicon. Yeah, okay. So I remember it was in here. Oh, God. This is not a very... My, uh... My miner is not very agile. Okay, I believe it was down here. Yeah. It's ordered from Ikea. They always come with spare screws, right? <laughs> um, let's see here. Silicon. I don't care about silicon. I just go through this asteroid. Okay. Did we mine out? Do we mine out all the uranium here? All I am seeing is silicon right now. Let me go back through and see if there is a another turn I could make. I think there's silicon on the walls in this thing. I think I remember going inside this asteroid somewhere for the uranium. Might have been down here somewhere, maybe. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's is this the hole I just came out of? No, I think it went there. What about here? I should be detecting uranium, right? I think I would be in range of the uranium. Yeah, that's the hole I just went through. Again, there's so many waypoints around here. Let me see. Silicon. Only seeing silicon. I think maybe we're out of the uranium here, so maybe um, I think uh, EPP just shared another uranium. So if I want to get more uranium, I need to. Go, I might need to go to that one. Uh, where's the front of my ship? Here it is. Um, okay, let's see here. What GPS? How far away was that? You are, let's see, I think the other ones are pretty far away. You would detect uranium, but it's still set to silicon. Well, no, no, it's, uh, it detects all the ores. I don't know if you're joking or not. Am I on fire? Am I? Oh my god, you're right. 
Damn it, and I don't have thruster components to fix it. God damn it. How, how did how does shit keep breaking on this thing? I really need to... Is this gonna explode? Can I, like... Do that so it doesn't explode? Alright, we're gonna be out. I'm gonna just... Get rid of it for now. Okay. I really need to change up this ship build. Uh, it takes so long to design and build ships. Okay, so... Was there any other place with uranium that's within a decent distance? I might just have to hold off on uranium for now. Yeah, 304 kilometers for that. So... I guess I'm not going to get uranium for now. I'm just going to go back home here. And, uh... We will be good with just ice for right now. You have no clue about this game, but you still have this screw. Okay, great. Alright, so one of my... I think one of my major... Yeah, one of my four ion forward ion thrusters got blasted all right well i can i can fix that when i get home or i change up this this ship build but i don't really want to spend time on my minor ship when i'm trying to fix my when i'm trying to finish my big ship so i'll just fix this and we'll uh live with this for now And hope that we have enough um, uranium. I mean, we're, we're using solar power for a lot of things. The reason I wanted some extra uranium is because we have a really nice big uranium reactor on our big ship. Or whatever you call it, nuclear reactor. And I just want to make sure we have plenty of fuel for it if we have any issues with power. I don't want to run out of power. Because apparently... Uh, jump jets take a lot of power. That's actually the first thing I should finish so that those will start charging, I think. I, I assume it takes jump jets a while to charge. Although maybe they don't take a long time to charge. Maybe it just depends on how much power you have stockpiled or something. I don't know exactly how that works. I don't know how my engine... I must have slammed really hard into it or something. All right, so I'm going to stockpile my hydrogen tanks on my big ship. And I also want to... I wonder if I can tell stockpile my big reactor to stockpile uranium. I wonder if that's something I can do. But I just... I want to explore, man. We've been building and designing so much. I want to actually get out and see the rest of this... The rest of this... Wonderful solar system we live in. Okay. My space base is up here. Okay. I want to get out and explore. I don't know that my big ship will be the best one to do it. I almost wonder if I want to take another ship that's more... Um... Flexible. Like maybe I, maybe I dock my fighter instead of my miner, inside my ship. Maybe I actually do an extra dock and put my my, uh, my fighter and my welder. Um. And that's what we take with us. As we go out and explore, because I might maybe I want to set up another base somewhere or something. There's a safe zone. Where's my ship? I think my ship is off to the side here. Stockpiling explosive gases on the ship sounds like fun. Put it at this place the thruster is missing. <laughs> okay. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. Thanks for your wonderful suggestions on how to explode my ship. But uh, I will try to avoid that. Okay, I'm coming in actually at just the right angle. 
Um, and actually, I think I am going to... I'm going to dock this ship over here. Because I think I do want to put a fighter and my uh, welding ship inside there. Do I want to see a ship jump? No, thanks, EPB. I would like to discover it on my own. So, thanks for asking. But no, I do not want to see a ship jump. I would like to see my own ship jump first. That's what I'd like to do. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't ram into that. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go over this thing. Then I'm going to turn. And we're going to go... This docking is way harder this way. Uh, backwards to dock. Lock it. Charge. Great. All right, so we should have ice galore. No fuel. Um, and I want to... Uh, first things first, I want to replace this engine. All right, ion thrusters. I think there's an, a large ion thruster. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's the one that we're missing. Okay. So I need 10 thruster components. Oh my god, this thing is just hopping all over the place. I don't know why I'm rubber banding like a mofo today. Okay, where is my ship? Over here. So I want to. Have these hydrogen thrusters be, or hydrogen tanks be stockpiled? Is this, uh, yes. Okay. So I want you to stockpile. And I want this one also to stockpile. Is there a, do I have access to you? To you directly. I'd like to know which one is the one right next to this one. Uh, hydrogen tank, this one, stockpile. Okay. So those are blue. That means there's the one stockpiling. Perfect. Okay. And I wanted to, I wanted to complete my, what is this? Air vent. Okay. I wanted to complete my um, jump jets. So where are my jump jets? They're the back over here. Jump drives. So I need computers. So I need 2,000 superconductors. I don't know if we ever finish those. Is there a way to like click on these? Uh, I don't know. No, I haven't finished either of them yet. I'm all turned around here. Uh, I have one on this side. Oh, okay, so this is the one that I started. Okay. So this is the one that needs 700, a little over, a little under 700 um, superconductors. So I guess I didn't have enough for both of them. No fuel. Okay, so we're going to do the... Uh, where's the large... There it is. Large no cargo fuel. container. So super conductors. Shift click those. Okay. Um, I have a good amount of those. Not all of the ones I need. Okay. I think those are not going into the right place. I feel like there, there, there. Okay. Alrighty, we'll, this will allow us to finish one of them, I believe. Stop saying no fuel. This ship doesn't even have hydrogen tank. It doesn't even have hydrogen thrusters. Why do you t why do you say that? Why would you tell me no fuel? Stock. Okay, let me see here. So let's finish the jump jet. Where is the jump jet? Okay, jump drive. Yes. 
We have one functional jump drive. Beautiful. Let's go to the other one here. That's awesome. One of two. Two of eight, as Kenny would say about small bombs in FTL. We actually jumped 2,000 kilometers instead of 200. Yikes. Oh, wow. I have everything but the metal grids. Nice. Holy crap. I wonder, do I have a metal grid on me? I do. So if I just go up to this guy and do that. Nice. Oh my god, we got our two big jump drives done. We got them. All right, we got two jump drives that start fully powered, apparently. Okay. All right. So that is awesome. Um, so now I just need to finish the rest of the ship. We're good to go. All right, let's get... Um, let's see here. Let's start just welding all the things here. Three minutes till you return. It's three minutes how long it takes for your uh, jump drives to charge. That seems pretty fast, actually. It would use all six of your jump drives to jump. Holy crap. Can't believe you have six jump drives. I just finished two, and I was like, oh my god, that's so many resources. Missing some more pieces of things. Okay. What am I what am I missing here? Oh, middle grids. Alright, let me let me actually go. Oh, I got a dock for those, so we will we got plates, so we got everything but the metal grids for a lot of this stuff. You now have a config tab like for your jump drives, I guess. I mean, I wonder if does each does each jump drive give you a certain distance of travel distance? I don't know. I don't really know how they work. That's something I'm gonna have to learn about here. It's based on mass. Oh well, God, I hope I have enough jump drives for the mass of my ship. I did not know that's how it did it. God. I should have built this thing further away from this tube. Probably missing metal grids on you, too. You're all by yourself, 100, 18, 1,815 kilometers away from everyone else. That is a long, a long, scary distance away from everyone. Good thing you have a self-sustaining ship. At least I hope it's self-sustaining. So I put solar panels on this guy because I want it to be able to be safe off by itself. Go. Okay, so I need metal grids for all these guys. Oh, that just completed a bunch of stuff. Okay. Metal grids, metal grids. So many metal grids I need. I do need a remote control, because if I could if I could request things to build Whoa, that's another very large uh frickin' engine that it wants to build there, okay. Why aren't you building? 
This is not the thruster I want to build. It's just this thing right here. God damn. I'm pretty sure this is not a thruster. This is just an armor block. Yes, why didn't you want to build that? Okay. Let's keep going. If I can get everything built except the things that need uh, metal grids, I'll be in good shape. What are, what are you trying? Why will you not build these things? Am I out of plates? Am I out of metal plates? Steel plates. I'm out of steel plates. Okay. Let's go back. Get some steel plates and metal grids here. And probably tell it to build more of both of those. Maybe I can build a remote control. Because that people mention that's useful for your ship too. But if I could even have that right now, then I'm sure that'll be really nice. Okay, why? Well, I, I need to go forward a little bit. There we go. Okay. Inventory. Large cargo. And steel plates. Wow. Okay, I need to build a bunch more steel plates. Man, I thought I had enough of stuff. 2,000. 2,000. Let's do a thousand metal grids. I think I might have those. Hopefully I do. And um, so how does a remote control work? Is it a data pad? Let me find the uh, metal grids. Okay, I need a bunch of those anyway. How do you make a remote control? Is that in my... Is that in the G menu? Remote. Remote control allows ships to be controlled from a distance when combined with an antenna or command ships to fly automatically to waypoints. So, is this something I can hold or is it like a little display thing? Let me, let me see here. Like a... F How does this work? Like, is there, is there a handheld remote control or do I have to put it on a... It looks like I have to put it on a ship or something. Um, like, if I put a remote control right... Like, say, back here next to my antenna... God, why am I just floating? I mean, I know I'm in space, but why am I moving back and forth? Like, like consistently rubber band. That's got to be a, a server issue. So ship thing, it needs to face a certain way. Okay. So do I need to put this remote control? How does this work? Uh, remote control. I guess what I'm wondering is, can I use a remote control to do anything but fly the ship? Like, with a remote control, could I access the inventory of, like, my big ship and say, hey, start building this? Or is that not how it works? Is it just a remote control to fly the thing? Precision mode, assigned camera. Yep, you said yep. <laughs> I don't know what you're answer answering. Uh, how do I set this up? Like, do I need to put this on the ship I want to control, I would assume? Seat remote with higher priority is occupied. Okay. I think I, think I don't want the remote control on this guy. I think I'd want to put a remote control on this guy. So what if I put a remote control like down behind this guy here? Oh, wow. Okay, so this would be a large remote control. Okay, let's put this like... Um, no, I think I'm going to put this like in the floor maybe. Okay. 
eight. Oh, I probably won't be able to do this while this thing is on. Well, okay. Hopefully it won't be too distracting to have this big thing here. Okay, so I have a remote control here. Can anyone explain how this works? What do I do with the remote control? Control thrusters, control wheels, handbrake. How would I control this remote controlled thing? What would I control it with? Do I need another handheld thing? How the hell does this work? Sign camera, flight mode. Uh, or is this something that I you need to use like scripts with or something? Remote control, I have no idea how this works. I'm currently set on control. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. We have one. If somebody ever wants to tell me how that damn thing works, I'll be happy to hear it. But otherwise, I have no idea how that works. Okay. All right. Um, so we were building a bunch of stuff. Metal grids. I needed a, a lot more steel plates. Look at the top of the menu I was in. I see show block and terminal remote access. Ownership correct. You can remotely access grids in the world using the antenna in your suit. Make sure your antenna is enabled. Check the antenna symbol in the bottom left corner. To access the grid, it must be powered and have an antenna. You also need to stay within the antenna broadcast range. Be able to access it. You can control grids from a distance by equipping them with a remote control block. So, remote access. Oh, production. So can I tell this to make, okay, all right. So I have remote access now. Okay, that is cool, all right. You ready for the work to be over? You just wanna be home playing SE? Uh, I feel you. Okay, so I just have to go into remote access. That's awesome. Okay, very cool. So that's how that works. Um, so now I just need my large cargo. So now I can tell that I can tell my assemblers to start building stuff, even though uh, I, without having to dock. So that's really cool. So there's where I want that. Here I want steel plates. Here we go. Okay, there we go. More metal grids. Do I have? Got batteries, reactor components. Do I have more thruster components? Probably gonna need some more of those. So let me production tell you to make another thousand thruster components. Hopefully I have enough resources for all this stuff. Okay. It's it's doing something, so okay. Um uh, Okay, here we go. Wow, this view. Okay, so what do we got here? Let's. So I got a bunch of steel plates. View. Let's continue working on this stuff. Uh, I should be able to complete a lot of these. These guys now. Okay, we start that guy. Well, this thing is inside that one. Uh, again, more buggy stuff. I swear the uh, welding ship, for some reason, won't start certain pieces. It won't start hydrogen thrusters. 
And I need steel place to start them. God damn it. It's more annoying, annoying stuff that doesn't work. Large cargo. So give me like 300 of those guys to just start these guys so I, I can work on them with the other guy. There we go. Damn, it's used up all the plates already. Okay. Start the hydrogen thrusters. Okay. I start these ones, I finish those ones. This one should be good. Okay, good. Hopefully I started all the things and this thing could just build them all. Okay. Oh, there's probably a turret that I'm gonna need to do. That is a big ol' frickin' thruster, holy crap. That is craziness, man. Okay. Uh, okay. Damn, I'm not going to be able to get close enough in to build a bunch of that stuff, I don't think. I'm going to do it from the inside. going to be stuff inside there I'm going to have to build. I believe. Okay. That looks good. I probably won't let me start that thing because it's a Gatling turret that my welder turret can't start. Who knows why? Because buggy game. That's why. Oh my god. Build the damn thing. Am I missing pieces? What does this need? Construction components, metal grids. I should have all that stuff. Are you out of construction? Please don't tell me you're out of construction components. You probably are, aren't you? No, still has 1,300 of them. So we'll just do it. Do it ourselves. We'll do it live. There we go. 15 metal grids. There it goes. I was not aiming correctly or something. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got. If we can get these these thrusters done or not. Uh, oh, we need more thruster components. Okay. Oh, I did start telling it to make more. Oh, I don't have enough metal grids either. Okay. Metal grids and construction components. Uh, construction components and thruster components. And a lot of metal grids I need for these things. Can I... Can I get in here and make these pieces that are back behind you? No, I'm going to have to do those manually myself. That's going to be annoying. Unless I can get in from the side over here. Okay. Okay. All right, can I reach any of this stuff? I'm gonna get in as far as I can so I can get as much done. It's so weird what it chooses to build and what it chooses to not be able to reach. Hey, what's up, Vibsy? How's it going? Pretty well, doing well. Like right now, it's not working there. Oh crap, don't lock myself in here, please. Thank you. How was your day going, Vibsy? You having a good Thursday, I hope? I'll say the welding ship is useful, but there are definitely some downsides to it. It is, I do, I, again, it's, it's usually the controls and the UI. It's like, why, why is it so hard to aim? 
at what you're trying to build. Seems like a basic video game thing. Make it so that what the player is trying to do is clear and doable. The difficulty should not be in controlling your creations. Maybe doing the view will help, I don't know. This doesn't feel much better to me. Actually feels worse, but I feel like it's the only way to really be able to tell what your your thing is actually aiming at here. Okay. Okay. It's looking like Snivy and EPB are having issues over there. I don't know what they're having issues with. Okay, I want these pieces over here to be started. So I'm going to need thruster components and metal grids to finish a bunch of this stuff, I believe. that other piece I honestly don't know because the UI is so hard to see in this game <laughs> God. okay it's acting like it's building something you tend to build welder ships with the prongs at the same height as the cockpit so they align roughly with the crosshair it makes it a little easier to figure out well I, I wanted to do that but the way that the pieces go together, you have to make a weird. You have to use a what you call it for that a uh, an extra turny thing conveyor junction for that to work. But maybe maybe I should adjust this thing, but I don't want to be building other ships. I'm trying to just finish this one ship, but maybe I should make that small alteration on this ship. It'll be easier to use the damn thing. Okay. Yeah, there are going to be some inside pieces I'm going to have to get inside for. Hopefully not too many, though. And hopefully there's nothing inside any of these pieces that didn't get finished building because we ran out of parts, but we couldn't tell and just built the thing outside of it. Why didn't you finish that? God damn it, welder ship. All right, we're building something in here, I think. Can't see what. There's some junctions back there that I think are not being built. I don't know why. Okay, we started that guy. Okay, can I stick my nose into where these things are? Yes, good. Okay, nice. Okay, let's stick my nose in here. Did I, did I build that? I can't, I can't, I don't know, I didn't finish it. Ugh, annoying as hell. Why didn't you finish it? Am I out of parts? Am I out of steel plates again? No, I got steel plates. Um, out of metal grids, maybe it's metal grids or something, or. Grids or girders, whatever they're called. OK. 
Okay. Um, let me do remote access. Uh, here, production. Are, am I really out of gold after all that gold I just got? I'm out of gold for more thruster components? God damn it. Are you freaking kidding me? I got so much gold. Um, refinery. Did all and I, did I did I finish refining finding all the gold I got? Jesus Christ. Well, whoever said they were gonna get me gold, I wish they had, but I, I guess I, I guess I have to do it myself. Damn it. Um. Oh gosh. Okay. So I'm not gonna be able to finish this yet. I have to do more mining. What's up, saucer? Uh. What am I trying to do? I was going to tell it to build more some things. Metal grids, I think. Production. Uh, I remote accessed the wrong one, apparently. Okay. This one, production. Here we go. Like a thousand more of those. Should have iron at least. And that's more of those guys. And let's do a thousand more construction components. Two thousand more of those. I know I'm going to need a lot more. Okay. All right. So, what am I missing here? There's something on the inside there. Finish that myself. So thruster components. All right, so we started that. So you should be able to finish this guy. Are you out of pieces too? Are you out of construction components? You are. All right. All right. Keep running out of crap. Do you probably need construction components too, I'm guessing? Yeah. Don't blow up my ship again. I will try not to. All right. Now it's just resources I'm running out of. Apparently, I need a bunch more gold again. I mined out. Well, I didn't completely mine out that one gold area, but I might need to go get gold or ask EPB to go do some mining. I'm not going to be able to go explore until I finish this. I thought I was going to be done sooner than this, but I guess I thought I was going to have more gold. Okay. All right, so large cargo, and we need metal grids. Go. And we need construction components. Components. Oh, I guess reactor comp. Um, I should have some of the other type. Uh, thruster. I made a bunch. Did I use them all up already? Or did I not actually make a bunch? It's trying to make them... I seriously, did I really run out of gold that fast? Oh, it, it queued them all up here. Oh, God. Well, I guess I just got to go mine more gold. Okay. Um, let's see, GPS. Where's There's a gold, too, I think. Gold, too. Let's go to this one. Now, we're going to just... We're going to completely fill up our miner with gold. Because apparently gold is... Gold is the main resource that we are lacking. All right. Okay. So where's this gold to? It's over here. That's uranium that we went to that was out. Uh, what does that say? Gold to. Oh, that's close too. Hey, what's up, discerning guy? You tried to get on the server. It's asking for a password now. Yes. And that is purposeful so that we don't have random people come and troll. So if you type exclamation point space, there it is. EPB's got you. That's the password. I'm purposely not saying it on stream. 
because I want people to have to either come to the stream or if you go on the Discord, I think it's on the Discord. I think people have posted on the Discord. If we put a yield module on the refinery, it'll produce more gold per unit that, that you bring in. I have yield modules on the refineries. I do. Um, I think I have one speed, three yield on every refinery that's refining gold, which is what I, I've been told is the the best ratio. Uh, the assemblers, too. I, on the assemblers, there are two assemblers I don't have that on. I don't. Assemblers can have yield modules on, on them. I didn't know that that worked. Okay. Um, but on every assembler but the two I added uh, recently do have uh, modules. So I... It is. It is using a lot of gold, apparently. I mean, that... I made a lot of thrusters, and apparently those use a lot. The large, the large scale, large thrusters use a lot of thruster components. And it's just all there is to it. And also, I think the yield on the gold is just not as good as the other resources. I mean, I got like 40k gold, but apparently that's not nearly enough. So I'm just gonna go until I can't. I'm gonna mine gold until I can't carry anymore on my ship. I think. Just imagine making a ship that has 10 plus drives. We're talking about jump drives? Yeah, well, that's part of the reason I only did two because the superconductor is using so much gold. All right, we're just going to get all the gold. Just to get all of it. Give me all the gold. I wonder if I can play with turn this speed up on this rotor. A little worried about making it go too fast and banging into stuff and damaging them, but the drills are pretty robust. Give me all that gold. Which, that's a line from an opera that I've been in. If anybody's ever seen I'm All in the Night Visitors, All That Gold is basically the name of an aria sung by the mother in that show. Not that probably anybody but me cares about that. <laughs> can you build larger drills so you can eat the asteroid hole? Yes. And that is actually a build that uh, EPB showed me that he kind of designed this spinning drill on. It's this giant kind of triangular thing that is the size of an asteroid and eats the entire asteroid. It's crazy. I don't know what's the purpose of that because with all the stone that you would get, you'd have to just chunk it all out the side or dispose of the stone somehow. So it sounds more, possibly more work than it's worth, but it's cool that you can build that. Of course, whoever did design that probably had some scripts or something designed so that it works really, really well. Abyssal Wolf, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Yeah, I am eaten into all this gold. You've made base ships with drills on it. So they just slowly move through the system, eating asteroids and processing them for materials. That's pretty awesome sounding. There's a good amount of gold here, though, so hopefully I'll have even more than my last time, because I'm 
apparently need even more than the last time. I think I think a lot of what I had last time was eaten up in those superconductors I made, but I needed those, so we just need even more. A base ship with drills, so they slowly move through system-eating asteroids. How does how does that work? Because I mean, asteroids are pretty spaced far apart. So do you have to like, do you remote control them, and then tell them to do their thing, or or what? Although if it's a base, bases can't move, right? You say base ship. I don't know how a base ship works. There's no real limit to the size of a large grid. Okay, so it's basically, it's a ship, but it's just the size of a station, I guess. Okay. You design an auto assembler that creates waste asteroids out your unwanted junk. Well, there there is there is a way to, there's sorters that will sort stuff, so you can sort, sort, sort stone. Um, Seriously, I've gotten 27k gold, and that's it. 27.30 something. Wow, that is not nearly as much as I thought I would have gotten so far. From what I've seen, they work kind of slowly. So, well, I guess maybe it was just the the ejector that worked kind of slowly. So I don't know. I just need I just need more gold, more and more gold. Make sure my large um, cargo container is not full of stone. It almost is full of stone. <sighs> God, I need a good way of getting rid of the stone. But the, when I designed one with an ejector, it just like was like thunk, thunk. It was like throwing one piece of stone out at a time. So it just wasn't nearly fast enough for me. Uh, it's a mobile base with drills, refineries and such, massive engine arrays and power generation. It's not super fast. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, did I already eat all the gold? Almost all the gold. There might be more in this asteroid somewhere, but I think I'm actually about full just from the stone. Make sure I'm not wasting any right now. Yeah, cockpit's got some room. Connector... Uh, my drills have some room still, so we're... Okay, there's some more gold in there. Not much, but... There's a little bit. Okay. Well, we pretty much depleted that little deposit. Okay. Oh, there's a little bit more here. Well, EPB, that extra gold thing you, uh... <laughs> you found, I've pretty much got rid of it. Although it does say gold 22 meters this way. So there might be more. Whoa! There's just a floating gold asteroid here. Okay. Okay. Create a massive stone gun powered by dump rocks. <laughs> yeah. That would be my flak cannon in this game. My miner would double as a flak cannon. You can dump stone out of a connector, but you will want to set it up so the connectors eject the stone are behind a conveyor sorter, so you can limit what is ejected. Yes, and I've done that uh, on my ship that was originally on Earth. I did that, but it was so slow because the amount it was, of stone it was ejecting was not very fast. Actual resource projectile weapons are very broken. Oh, is it is it actually a thing? I wasn't actually planning on doing it, but. Okay, drills. Okay, we still have space. We still have space. I'm trying to make sure I'm not wasting any of this resource. But maybe I should do that with this thing. Put a put an ejector at the back so it's just ejecting out the stone. Okay. All right. 
right. Okay, so there is more in this asteroid there. Okay, so I just have to get to it. But uh, we are getting close to full here. So let's go deliver this. And I might do a second delivery, actually. It's probably what I'll do. So where's my base? Because there is more if I go come back here. Okay. there uh, I think my base is up here yeah the good thing is that's really freaking close so thank you for finding that EPB and sorry I used it all up already <laughs> not all of it there's another deposit there I think okay so we're gonna dock with the one place deliver this and go get some more because we just need so much gold man so much stinking gold flying circles around my base right now. Let's turn around to slow down. Go. You could build a projectile rail of blocks, including a few small cargo containers. Fill the containers with stone, add an artificial mass, and then fire that at your targets. It's the cargo containers will break, and the stone will pop out, probably rupturing everything around it. Interesting. That sounds like a very interesting weapon build idea. And probably too complicated for me to make happen, but it sounds cool. <laughs> Here. So go like this. We go backwards. C and down helps me line this up. Okay. To the left. And then down. Controls are like backwards here. Oh, that's the wrong way. This way. So down. Mm. This right here is similar to Kerbal Space Program's docking. Pretty, pretty weird with the controls being like backwards, what you want them to be, because just the the way I have it oriented, orientated. There we go. Beautiful. No fuel. All right. Um, so while this is delivering the stone, I think what I will do is see if I can throw a sorter and ejector out. Uh, only problem is when you miss the rail because it's a powered object, just goes hurling into space forever. Server admins tend to not appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So the best way to do this is if I maybe have a sorter on both sides spewing them out the sides can i do that i think i want a small one i believe is what i would want so if i had one on that side and one on this side i need motors Okay, uh, this and motors. Throw 100 in there. High speed indiscriminate projectiles that will severely damage whoever hits just out there, kind of like the stuff in our atmosphere. IRL, yeah. <laughs> they tend to not like that stuff for some reason. All right, uh, bulletproof glass, computers. Probably will need some small steel tubes. Some extra plates there. Okay. All right, throw this here. Okay, so the gold. All right, so it's going through the stone first in all my refineries. All right. 
Just going through that stone. Okay. So what we do is we have sorters on both sides that only allow, that just spit stone out is what we're going to do here. Or, well, I have to get an ejector, I think. So, uh, what is that called? Sorter. So, whitelist. Um... Stone is what I want. So only stone can go out. I believe that's right. And whitelist. Stone. There you go. So both of those sorters will whitelist stone to come through. And then we want a... I think it's called an ejector. Those little ejectors are slow at dumping stuff. You're referring to actual connectors like the one you docked your station with. Um, well, what else? Uh, I guess, okay, let me see. So if I did this, I did this bigger one. Should I, get, I could have it do it like this, right? How are they spew out on this side, maybe? Is that what you're talking about? You can tell the connector collect all and throw all out. So that would spew rock out the side, right? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do it on the back of the ship. That would be better, I think. Although I'll probably be back into it. Okay. That would work, but might damage the hardware around the drills. You go to the back, okay. Okay, let me set up one before I do two, just to make sure this will work the way I, I'm hoping it will. So, be nine. See the directions pointing, so like that. Okay, and then I would put, I think there's something called an ejector, right? Is this what we would use, an ejector? The ejector is small though, so Oh, is it the sorter itself that can just... No. No connector. Post a link. EPB. Um, is Pie Boy or anybody here? Anybody that can do that? I'm trying to figure this out on my own. Um, so it's an actual connector. Okay. It's an actual the thing called a connector. Okay. So it's actually one of these guys. And I can have that. Uh, I have to know which one it is, though. Um, I guess maybe I have to disconnect so I can know which one it is. So let me unlock so I can move away just a little bit and then go K. Because I have two connectors. It would be connector two. So conveyor sorter. We want to whitelist stone. You want to post a link to a stonehead war video, warhead video. All right, our stone warhead video. Fine. Permit EPB seven three zero four. There you go. I probably won't be watching it right now, just so you know. If you open the console and the connector like you were trying to access it, you can change the name and such on it. Oh, can I? Can I actually just get on this one? I can't remember what I can actually. Oh, I forget that that actually has a terminal on this thing. Okay. Connector two, and you said you could make it throw out. You say collect all and throw out. And it'll throw out all the stone. I set my sorter already. My sorter is whitelisting stone right now. And it's collect all and throw out, right? I wonder what strength. Uh, oh, maybe I don't need that. So let me try it. Let's grab a little stone and give this a try. Sorter doesn't collect all. 
So some will make miss it, make it through. Here, let me just take like a uh, hundred stone and see if this works. So if I put stone in here, uh, I let's see if it gets flung out into space. All right, all right. Well, there we go. It flung that out. Sorter doesn't collect all, no, but the connector will pull it from all connected grids. So this connector will try to pull stuff, and this will only allow stone through. Is that is that how that's... I guess that works. Hopefully that will work. Okay. All right. Gold. Okay, it's refining the gold. All right, we are refining gold. Good. Uh, we're going to do one more trip for more gold, though. Let's see if I took any damage here on any of my pieces any of my stuff smoking or anything check all my drills everything looks good okay what am I building Cody um, let me show you all of my things here are red now there no all my connectors are red now I don't know what that means this giant ship you would go in your cockpit my power is maxed out. What does that mean? Why is my power maxed out? <sighs> my batteries are recharging. Deem need more battery. So I need more batteries on this ship? So I don't have enough batteries to power these connector I just added is what it sounds like. Do I only have two batteries on this thing? I have four batteries on this thing. Is there a reactor? Um, I can't remember if I put a little reactor on it or not. When it's going full tilt, it needs a little more power. All right, let's do. Um, let's put two more extra batteries, I guess. I have power cells for them. Uh, let's see here. I want them to be like this, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Batteries on recharge. Oh, that might be the reason then. Okay, there we go. Good call. I don't need more batteries. I forgot when I dock, I turned on recharge and I forgot to turn off recharge, so we're fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, my bad. Thank you for that. Um, yes, but what we're building is a giant ship here that I still have a little bit of ways to go because I have to finish my, I have to place my um, so solar panel arrays after I finish all the big thrusters on this ship. So it's a big build, taking lots of gold. Um, but it's going to be awesome when it's done, hopefully. All right, where's that gold that was like just two kilometers away? You like the look? Thank you. It'll look even better when I have all the pieces put on it. The uh, solar panels, I think, make complete the look. What's it designed to do? Well, large-scale ships are the only things that you can put things called jump jets or jump drives uh, jump drives are needed to make really long distance jumps basically so exploring the galaxy or not the galaxy the solar system because there's no galaxy in this, this solar system so exploring the other planets um going getting getting around the solar system much faster is what it's what it's being made for is the design what it's designed to do Okay, let's see. So it said there was from over there gold about 100 meters away. So somewhere over here, I think there's going to be gold. Exploration. It's basically going to be my home base, home away from home is what is the plan. That's what I'm going to be able to explore. It's going to be my mobile station, basically. Okay, it said there was more gold around here somewhere. There we go. 169 meters down that way. Sure, we're not ramming into stuff here too hard anyway. OK, 
Yeah, there's lots of little bitty pieces of asteroid on this one. Okay, I want to get to the edge that's closest to the gold here. And doing our little rotation of this asteroid here. EPB, thank you for finding this extra gold, by the way. I definitely needed it. Ah, here we go. Oh, somebody had started mining this. Okay. Well, there's not that much here. <laughs> I thought there was going to be more than this. Uh, well, hopefully once you mine this out, some other little chunk will show up. Oh, I need to turn this on and rotor flock off. There we go. Your ship is your home, EBB? That's right. And hopefully this ship will be my home once I complete it. We'll always have we'll always have our space station to come back to. May I make a suggestion? You've probably already done it, but drop down a GPS marker to always know where your base is. Yes, I, I, have, I have a GPS on lots of things, but my base has a GPS signal already on it. Lost the base. Plays, you played this on a friend's computer and also did that? Yeah, I, ha I have a GPS signal on my base already. It's called Rand's Space Base. It's a good suggestion. But I do have that going already. And all of my ships have antennas on them. Speaking of, I need to have my antenna on. Well, I guess maybe I can't turn it on while I'm in the ship. No. But yeah, all my ships have antennas so that you can see them on the on the overlay or the HUD or the map or whatever. All right. Okay. I wonder, am I spewing out stone behind us right now? Yes, we are. All right. <laughs> all right. That's much faster than, whoa, look at all that stone down there. Okay. Well, that's much faster than other trajectories we've had. Hopefully it just doesn't damage my ship as I, uh, Eject the stone in the back. I might have to like repair that as it ejects the stone and bumps into my ship. It's working well. It's working well. It, look, we're pooping out the stone. Way faster than the ejectors. Each one of those is, you think, three to five k stone. Yeah. Got an accident with a ship on my friend's system, which involved accidentally tearing a hole into much of your ship. Yikes. That sucks. Well, I had um, I had Clang on the uh, server I was creative server I was designing my ship on. Totally blow up a piece of my ship at one point. All right, it says there's more gold here. I don't see it. Okay, it went away. I think I got all the gold. I think we might be about mined out of gold in this thing. I might need to find another gold asteroid. My God, let's 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 go around this thing a little bit just to see if any more gold shows up. I might need to do some actual prospecting of my own. All right. Let's see if there's any more gold deposits in here. Does that ship have an ore detector? It does. Yes. The reason the ship is kind of big is because I have a large ore detector on the bottom. That's exactly why it's bigger than I want it to be. Because it has the larger ore detector set at max range. I believe it's set at max range. Let me make sure. Yeah, 150 meters is the max range. Compress the stone till it collapses to a black hole, then I can dump more stone into it. Sure. I think you're thinking of Minecraft, though. <laughs> I do remember watching Minecraft. Oh, God. Minecraft streams where they were like, or you could compress stone into, like, smaller, smaller and smaller, tighter and tighter compressions. Okay. Well, I think we got pretty much all the gold out of this thing. Um... I think there was a little bit left at the other Roid Gold. So I'm going to actually delete that one from mine. 
And let's see, where's this other Royd Gold one? It is... Is that it? That's ice. Uranium. Uranium. That's my base. Where's the gold? It's not 311 kilometers that way, is it? It's not that one. No, it's uranium. I think it's over here. No, that's ice. Where is it? Is it not on? It's not on. That's why. Let's show. Uh, which one just showed up? New. Oh, wait. This was the same one. Oh, the Royd Gold 2 that you paste posted was the same one that I already had. Okay. Um, all right. So I think I need to find more gold then. I don't know that we have enough. Let me do a little searching around these asteroids, I guess. See if I can find some more gold. Go to the asteroids that... Let me turn on all of the things here. Roid silver. To make sure I'm not going towards things. God, I hope I'm not about to ram this thing. Make sure I'm not going towards ones we've already done. Uh, okay, so if I have all those on, should allow me to go to ones I haven't seen yet. And hope we can find some more gold. Alright, so this one doesn't show anything. So somebody, somebody might have already checked this one. If anybody on this server has found more gold um, and you want to let me know, you're welcome to. But people may want to keep their own gold discoveries there. The Alchemy Lab. Then I can transmute the stone into gold. Yes, the Alchemy Lab. How could I have forgotten to build an Alchemy Lab? Right, let me get closer to this thing so I can... Get in range. I really wish the uh, ore detector had a better range. And that's I have the largest one, I think. Okay. Nothing is showing up here. Is this like a multiplayer map? This is a server. This is a server that I am paying for so that viewers and I can play together. And uh, people have donated, too, so I'm hopefully maybe can upgrade at some point. Oh, there's something. What is it? Crap. I flew by it. Something showed up 200 kilometers up this way. So if I go, oh, what is it? Ice. Okay, it is an ice asteroid. Not useful. Okay. Uh, I guess I could mark this as ice, though. So, okay. GPS. Uh, current position, roid, ice small, and I don't need to, sh uh, I guess I will show it so I don't come explore this one again. All right, so a little bit of ice. This is a small asteroid. I don't know if, well, I assume small asteroids can still have some small amounts of resources maybe. Anything in here? Anything, anything? Big fat ball of nothing. Okay. Let's go check this one. That's a weirdly shaped asteroid. I don't know how far out this is, but let's go check it out. Although with the way that sh way that shape, that might be just another ice asteroid. Ice is super useful if you want cold drinks, but you should avoid it if your ship is called Titanic. Yes, good good tips. You're just full of it today. Uh, and when I say it, I mean lots of useful tips. That's a very strange looking asteroid. It's all pockmarked. Did somebody mine this already, or 
What is up with this? Looks like it's been exploded. Why does this asteroid look so funky? That looks like it's been, like, shot at by a bunch of cannons or missiles or something. This is actually kind of cool. I haven't uh, done much asteroid exploring because most of the other people in the server have been the ones who have found resources on the different asteroids. So that is a cool-looking asteroid. I don't know why it looks like that. Um, any resources showing up here? Looks like, oh, uh, there's something. Silver. Ooh, okay. All right, well, that's good if we run out of silver. Although silver, we, I seem to not have as much of a hard time using up all the silver. All right, so I will make a note that there's silver here. GPS, current position. Roid silver. Funky. I'm going to call it funky because it looks kind of funky there. All right. All right. So there's silver in there. Gold is near silver normally. They spawn together. Okay. Well, let me see if there's gold anywhere in here then. That would be great. Silver down below. Okay. Camera, you are so crappy. This is a big asteroid, so maybe there will be some gold on this asteroid as well. It would be nice. If anybody sees gold pop up, let me know. Though I feel like in the asteroids where I've seen gold, I haven't seen silver in them as well, so I don't know if I need to look for another asteroid near this one to find gold or what. Let's go maybe over this way on this part of the asteroid, see if any gold pops up. Hey, what's up, Bob the Third? How are you doing, my friend? Good to see you. Just the silver, it's looking like. Oh, 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 don't slam into that. Is that a second silver deposit? I think this might only have silver in this thing. Maybe. Silver down there. Trying to go away from the silver to see if there's another part of this thing that's got gold. Oh, it's a crazy looking asteroid though. Looks like something busted out the middle of it. What do I need gold for, EPB? Lots and lots of thruster components. Hundreds of thruster components. When I say lots, EPB, I don't know. Go look at my ship and see see all the thrusters on it. Each one takes like 900. Uh, okay, let's see. And I got like, like six or seven more. So I need a couple thousand thruster components. That's 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 the range. I I don't know exactly. I'll frickin a frick ton. A frick ton, if that gives you any information. Uh, okay, is there another asteroid out here, nearby here I can check out for some gold? Check that one. Let's go check this guy out here, I guess, maybe. I didn't realize how much, apparently, um, gold that thruster components take, and I made a lot of thrusters when I designed my ship. I guess I didn't realize how valuable of a resource, resource gold was. You're doing okay, Bob, for now, with how things have been going? It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Let's go with 3,000. Um, that might be low, low end DPB, but if I can make 3,000, I'll be closer. I'm doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Um, I hope you're, when you say it's only a matter of time till things get better, as I'm hoping what you're saying. 
Because uh, never want to be so depressed that it's only a matter of time till you're dead. And then there goes your life. Um, okay. Are we headed towards this thing? We are, kind of, yes. I'm doing pretty well. I'm trying to finish my big giant ship. It's a lot of freaking work, apparently. And I need to take my break here. Thankfully, I don't have rehearsal or anything tonight, so I don't have to feel rushed to get out of here. That is a big old asteroid, though. And it's pretty far out there, too. So let's hope that means there's gold. If there's not gold, if there's, like, uranium, that would also be useful. So I think we mined out the uranium in the other place we had. That's the first place I want to explore. I actually want to go explore the moon. Oh, SSM Larry's Club Ice and Charge. Oh, is that? Uh, somebody said their base. I think that might have been the person whose base got exploded on. I guess I always need to make sure I jump back to my safe zone before I log out in case I get some random people exploding people's bases. That was the one. Yeah. I feel sorry for them. I I don't know. Maybe we need to go around for anybody who's got a pretty extensive base who just wants to build. Maybe we need to go around and actually um, make their bases safe zones so people can't do that. Although I don't know if safe zones are protected from somebody dropping nukes underneath the damn thing. It's true for everyone. Death is only a matter of time. Let's hope that it's decades out. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm in no rush to die. Too much video games to play, singing to do, and people to hang out with. All right, another funky-looking asteroid here. It's big, though, so I'm hopeful there'll be something good in here. Turn around and slow down faster. Okay. All right, give me some gold, asteroid. That's that's what I need. I need the gold. Getting close here so our ore detector can do its work. Ore detector, if you love me, you'll find me some gold. You must love me, Cobalt. I think I just saw Cobalt. That is not what I was hoping for. Cobalt is never something I seem to ever run out of. We'll do a little bit more. There could possibly be multiple things in here, I think. Although if there's Cobalt, it's probably going to be like iron that would be here. I think that's what I saw. I'm pretty sure I saw Cobalt. Let's go right up in the middle of this thing so that we hopefully can get good range on our uh, ore detector. You're going to detect? Come on, get to detecting. You have one job, ore detector. Detect it. Detect all the things. I'm detecting stone, sir. That's not that's not what I want you to detect. I'm pretty sure I saw cobalt, at least somewhere. Man, now I'm not detecting anything. Maybe there's only that little bit of cobalt I saw wherever it was. This is a big asteroid, though, so... Again, I wish the ore detector had a better range. Let's see if I can at least see that cobalt, because I want to make sure I'm not crazy that there's nothing here. Come 
on. Show me something more, Detector. Show me something. Anything? Anything? Bueller? Oh my god, there is... It's a big old empty asteroid. Come on. It's gotta be something... At least show me where the cobalt is. Oh, that's cool. The shadow on the asteroid as we move across. That's really cool. Zoom out. I think it might be easier to see stuff if you zoom out. At least it was on the planet. Okay, well, I don't think I'm finding gold here. I saw cobalt, and that's it. One last little pass here. And I'll probably take my break. Because finding, uh, I feel like I need a, I feel like I need one ship that's like a exploration detector ship. It's just got a detector, a bunch of really strong jets, and they can just fly around really quick detecting for ores. I, although I guess this ship kind of could do that, but it's just not as maneuverable as I'd like for that. No, no. I don't need cobalt. I need gold. I need one thing, and it's gold. All right. Well, I think I'm going to quick AFK here. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Is anybody in the stream, please, uh, please, stream, please hit the follow. Hope you're enjoying the Space Engineers. You all can enjoy. Let's, let's get a beautiful view for you all to enjoy. This asteroid with the sun and the lovely blue behind it. So when I come back, we will continue our search for gold, and hopefully we can finish our ship today. Thanks for hanging out. Y'all rock. Quick 60-second word of the ads, and I'll be right back, my friends. <laughs> 